salutations friends welcome back to my channel today's video I'm just gonna kind of like get you up to date on what's going on with my transition from my summer to my winter skincare and tell you what I look for I know a lot of people have asked me on my blog and some people on here have been asking me and giving me recommendations for products to use which is awesome I love learning about new products especially products that work good together I've already started purchasing a lot of my new winter skincare routine and I kind of wanted to go through my general what I do every year for my skincare so if you're interested in just you know, a little bit of a skincare journey with me keep watching okay first like I mentioned before in my blog when I first started blogging I am 32 so I'm definitely not young by YouTube standards. <laughs> um, but I did have um, issues with my skin. I have enlarged pores, I get a lot of sebum, I have an oily T-zone and combination skin and it's very sensitive. My skin didn't need anything up. I just needed to wash, moisturize, you know, and tone. Not a big deal. And then when I turned 30, I noticed that my skin transitioned and it needed a lot more work. So that's when I started to really take skincare um, seriously. And that's kind of like what launched this, you know, my blog and my YouTube channel was just like my obsession with skincare. I love makeup, I love perfume, but I am obsessed with skincare. So my skin now, and I'm gonna, I have makeup on, but I'm just kind of show you my problem areas. I was, wasn't sure if I was gonna do this, but I will show you. If you look on my nose, I don't know if you can see, I have very large pores on my nose, very. And you can see my skin, there's a texture. And some acne scars, you know, on my forehead I have lines. Um, it was a lot worse two years ago. So bad, so bad. So basically my major concerns when it comes to skincare is the texture of my skin, my pores, sensitivity. I'm just making sure everything is healthy, a lot of anti-aging properties. My skin looks better now than it did two years ago, which is amazing. Um, and I chalk it up to my pretty, <clears throat> excuse me, my pretty um, serious skincare routine. When I started getting into skincare, I had, I added things slowly and I, you know, like, and now I go to in the morning, I have a 10 step routine and at night, it's 12 to 15 depending on what products that I use and what time of the week that it is. So I have three skincare routines. I have my my summer routine, my winter routine, and my spring routine. And basically um, my spring routine is my transition from my summer to winter because it is a very drastic change. So I will, since I am done with my spring routine and I'm transitioning out of my summer routine, I'm going to tell you guys what I'm looking for in the winter. Um, and if you guys have any recommendations, I usually do all of my skincare purchasing for the winter between October and November. Um, because Florida is always very hot and sunny, it's not much of a change except of a change in humidity. So generally, I really start my um, winter skincare routine like mid-November. And I use the end of September to the beginning of November to transition. So anyway, yeah, let's talk about it. Yeah. All right, basically in the summer, most of what I look for is, I always look for is just sun protection. It's very bright in Florida, but also since it's very humid and I have to put a lot of makeup on my face and really set it, I'm also big on making sure that I get really good cleansers for my skin, deep cleansings, exfoliating, just keeping my skin clean after every oh, into the winter since it's not as humid it actually gets a tiny bit drier just a little bit what I normally look for in winter skincare routines is anti-aging a lot of collagen vitamin C obviously sun care is very important and anything that's gonna help repair my skin so generally what I do is I stick with a few different brands in the summer and I have the same core products that I use throughout my entire routine. <clears throat> so coffee. Ugh. I have my my creme de la mer, um, which is my nighttime moisturizer. I have my um, treatment um, es essence, the SK2 facial treatment essence. 
Um, and then I have my Tatcha um, tri Soothing tri Indigo Triple Recovery Cream. Those are the products that I generally keep no matter what. Um, and I've been testing out different morning moisturizers. I've been testing out treatment lotions, which is what you put on after your toner, but before your treatments to really help work it out. I'm using two right now that I'm seeing what I like. Um, and then I'm going to really, and I'm looking for a really good serum. I have the, um, the Estee Lauder Nighttime Recovery Serum. I'm looking for a good serum I can use morning and night. There's two I'm looking at. One's expensive, one's ridiculously expensive, but I'll make that decision in November. So basically what I'm looking for now and what I'm doing now is I'm using up all of my products from summer. <clears throat> I don't know why I'm so coughing. Ugh. And transitioning to winter. The products I like to use in the winter, I like to stick with the same brands because since I use a little bit less products, I go from like a 15 step cleansing skincare process at night to about a 10 because I don't need to do as many steps. I like to make sure that I use the same brands because I tend to see better results when I do that. So the brand that I've just been like living for right now and has just given me the best results, actually the two brands are SK2 and La Mer. I really love Tatcha. I like a lot of their stuff. But the thing is, is that because SK2 is known for their Patera ingredient and La Mer is known for their Miracle Broth, both of those products just do amazing things for my skin. And so I'm really working on tailoring my skincare morning and night to work good with those two brands. So that's what I've been doing now. I talked when I went and I got my La Mer facial. I talked with uh, my skincare, this woman who did my facial and the woman at the counter. I've been doing a lot of research, seeing what products from both of those lines work good together, and really trying to get the perfect um, skincare routine down for the nighttime. Another thing I like to look for, especially in the winter, is hydration. Um, it's really important. Um, although Florida is very humid, my skin will at a second will go from oily to super dry. I just like to keep hydration and moisture in there, which is why I'm really super trying to find the perfect morning moisturizer. I really like products with hyaluronic acid in it. And actually a product that I just finished sampling that I'm going to end up purchasing when I run out of my Dr. Paracone MD Cold Plasma, which I love that product, but I think I found one that's going to be better for the winter, is the Sunday Riley Tidal Cream. My skin really seemed to love that. That's going to be something that I purchase that is going to be a nighttime cream that's going to go on before my moisturizer. I'm going to kind of use it as an emulsion to really give my skin more hydration. And I really love that product. I can't tell you how much my skin loved that product. It's, in product. it's incredible. So that's another thing that I look for in my wintertime skincare routine is hydration. I look for hydration, anti-aging, vitamin C, um, just all those things to really make sure that my skin gets all the anti-aging ingredients that it needs while still remaining hydrated and not antagonizing my sensitive skin. Another thing I'm super duper into in the winter time is face masks. I generally will do one sheet mask a week and then I'll do one kind of like mud deep cleansing purifying mask a week. So I do two masks a week, sometimes three if I'm having issues with my skin. In the winter time I do every day. I do most of the time sheet masks every single day and then twice purifying masks. It just really helps my skin. My skin loves it. It feels better. And from the transition of the super humidity to the little bit of dry, it doesn't shock my skin and it kind of just helps it main, like stay healthy and not get aggravated and it keeps my skin soft and it's really super awesome. Generally, I don't go for any crazy expensive or super gimmicky masks. I just look for ones that either have vitamin C or aloe vera. Those are the ones that are just really good for my skin. And those are the ones that I really like to use. Right now, I'm currently loving the masks from Tony Moly and Leaders. And I also really like masks from It's Skin. So yeah, those are just like just some... Ah, just I know this is just another rambly video, but I did kind of just want to touch on my winter skincare, my skincare in general, um, and I'll just 
like I do with all of my reviews and all my videos, I'll just touch base really quickly at the end. I look for anti-aging properties. Um, for me, it's less deep cleanses and more um, anti-aging, hydration, anything that's going to, any products that are going to work good together from the same brand rather than using bits from here, bits from here, bits from here, bits from here. And also like pampering my skin and giving myself masks every day rather than once or twice a week. Um, also making sure, again, that everything works good and in harmony, um, which is another really important thing because if I use one wrong product, everything can kind of like go off and it's not like my skin will react, I just won't get the good benefits. I've also pretty sure I found the moisturizer I'm going to be using in the morning and I'm testing out treatment lotions, which are products that you use after you cleanse and before you start your skincare to really... Um, pump up the volume and give you the best benefits and results from the skincare that you add on over it. Um, one of those that I've used, I've used the White Lucent from Shiseido right now, which I'm loving. I got one from La Mer and I really like the one from, I have two from Shiseido actually. So once I figure out which of those work best for me, that's going to be something else that I'm going to be adding to my winter skincare routine. If you want any more clarification on any of these, um, topics or things I talked about, please let me know. I know sometimes when I talk about this, I kind of ramble and go on tangents. I don't like following a script. I just kind of like talking to you guys like you're my friends or you're my mom or you're my sister or you're my husband. Just like talking to you guys how I talk. So if you wonder if I'm like this in person, absolutely. Um, but if you have any questions on any of my skincare products that I'm using, if you have any recommendations, I would love to know what you guys use and what works. Again, my skin, I am 32, I have combination skin, and it's sensitive. So if you guys have used anything that works really good for you, I'd love to like hear about it. I like trying new things. Um, and because I'm still looking for the perfect products for my winter skincare routine, since I've just already started transitioning, I'd like to know what you guys recommend. So in any case, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to give it a thumbs up. It lets me know to continue doing um, videos like this. Once I have my um, winter skincare routine locked down, I will do a more comprehensive video for you with all the products that I use and why. So look forward to that in the coming weeks. Also, don't forget to subscribe. It's free. I'm free and I put out new videos every Monday through Friday and sometimes also on the weekends as well. So I'll always have product, uh, products, ugh. I always have something for you to watch. In any case, I hope you guys are all happy and healthy and have a great day, month, year, whatever. And I'll see you next time. Bye.